We all know that cameras are everywhere these days, highways, streets, even in cell phones. But in Visalia, California this week, a man was arrested for allegedly using a hidden camera to spy on women in a department store changing room. Now, this is just the latest case of a high-tech peeping Tom invading someone's privacy. I talked with two women victimized by a hidden video camera about their struggle to feel safe and to get justice. I don't know who I am anymore. I'm not the Yvonne I was before. Yvonne Goodwin is a 35-year-old mother of two children in Huntington Beach, California. She no longer feels safe at home, ever since learning a neighbor had been secretly videotaping her most intimate moments. And this was no isolated incident. It turns out this man, William David Brown, may have been taping Yvonne for six years before he got caught. Brown videotaped Goodwin undressing in the bathroom, taking showers, even bathing her young son. What's scary is that he knew my routine better than I did. Brown is a video voyeur, a 21st century peeping Tom who used high-powered cameras secretly located through his property to record Goodwin and his other victims, all from the comfort of his own home. The hidden cameras were connected by underground cables to his garage, where he had 24-hour video surveillance equipment. It makes you sick to your stomach. It almost makes, like Yvonne said, it makes you almost feel like you don't even want to get dressed that day. You don't have to be touched to be violated. Not at all. Megan Rogers was another victim of Brown's. She says back in 2004, she noticed every time she opened her blinds, a strange box would appear on top of Brown's daughter's playhouse. When we shine the flashlight into the box, it, the, the lens lit up. So that's when it became a reality that it was a camera. Her bird's eye view would bring down a voyeur. Megan called the cops, and in December of 2004, Huntington Beach police raided Brown's home. I Not totally feel I was raped. He saw my bodies more time than a one-time rape person does and got to watch them over and over again at his pleasure. But what makes matters even worse, they say, is that the punishment didn't fit the crime. In March, more than one year after the initial raid on his home, Brown pleaded guilty to misdemeanor electronic peeping charges. And get this, his sentence was just a mere 120 days in jail. It's kind of like a slap on the hand. So to try and get justice, Rogers, Goodwin, and three other victims have filed a lawsuit against Brown for invasion of privacy and emotional distress. They've retained attorney Eric Trout. With the advent of, of high-powered cameras and telescopes and all that, you're going to see more and more of this. Does it go away? Do you think you get over this? It becomes part of the past permanently? To be honest with you, it's still in my thoughts every single day of my life. It's important to note there are a lot of states where you don't get punished much for doing something like this. It's a situation where the law has to catch up to the crime. Well, when we come back, we'll have the morning's water cooler for you.